Dear students of us Bicom, let us now study the fourth poem in your textbook, Your Old Father William. As you know, this is written by a well-known English novelist and poet called Lewis Carroll, who lived in England in the 19th century. Lewis Carroll is best known for his masterpiece, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, which was written in 1865. And your poem, Your Old Father William, is extracted from this novel. Your poem is recited by the major character in the novel called Alice in the fifth chapter titled Voice from a Caterpillar. When Alice goes to the Wonderland, she meets a huge caterpillar sitting on a huge mushroom. She starts talking to the caterpillar and during her conversation with him, she tells him that she has got some serious difficulties in memorizing things. She normally gets confused between words. Okay. She says she has got serious difficulties in memorizing poems especially. So the wise caterpillar gives her a very good suggestion that she should choose easy poems and then practice reciting them. And he suggests this poem, Your Old Father William, which is very very easy for recitation. So as per the advice or suggestion given by the caterpillar, Alice practices reciting this poem. So this is a poem that you are going to study now. This poem is in fact a parody of a well-known poem, a serious poem written by the predecessor of Lewis Carroll called Robert Sati in England. Robert Sate lived in England in the 18th century. In those days, children's literature was absolutely didactic. Didactic means instructive or educative. A poem was written for the sake of children so that children might read those poems or learn those poems by heart and then imbibe the values which are projected in the poem. You know, children at that age, they enjoy reading funny poems, humorous poems and not serious poems. But during the Victorian era, small children were compelled to learn such poems by heart and recite those poems at evening parties attended by grown-up people. And the grown-up people used to enjoy listening to the recitation by children, but for children it was a huge burden. They never enjoyed doing it. So Levis Carroll, who never appreciated this kind of didactic literature, wanted to make fun of, want to attack that genre of literature. Serious poems, which were written for the sake of children. That's why he chooses a serious poem written by Robert Sati, his predecessor, and retains the structure of the poem as it is, but replaces the important words with silly words just to create humor. That's what parody means. You take a serious work of art, a serious poem, retain the structure, but just change the words. Change, replace the important words with silly words. And the effect will be humorous, there's no doubt. It will create humor. That's what Lewis Carroll does in this poem. Now, let us read the poem, then come back to discuss the theme later. Your old father William. Your old father William, the young man said, and your hair has become white. 
and yet you incessantly stand on your head do you think at your age it's right now the father gives a reply in my youth william said replied to his son in my youth i feared it might injure my brain but now that i am perfectly sure i have none why i do it again and again so look at the first answer when you read the first answer you come to know that there are two speakers or characters in the poem who are they an old man who is addressed as father william and a young man who who asks questions to the old man the young man goes on asking many questions to the old man and the old man gives answers so the poem is structured as a dialogue between the old man and the young man look at the very first question that is asked by the young man he begins his question by telling him that father you are very old your old father william the young man said presumably his son your hair has turned very white so he is telling his father father your hair has turned white yet still you stand incessantly on your head incessantly means continuously without a break so what does this old man do every time when he does exercises he stands on his head this surprises or astonishes the young boy who is not able to do it so he asks his father how he can do this difficult exercise of standing on one's head at his age look at this old man he is old and his hair has turned white still at that age he is standing on his head now this is something shocking to uh, the young man so he asks his father how he can do this at his age now look at the reply given by the by the old man in my youth now father is replying william is replying in my youth he replied to his son i feared that it might injure my brain see when i was your age when i was a young boy like you i never did this exercise i was scared of doing it because i thought that that might injure my damage my brain so i never did it at that time but now it is easy for me to do it because since i am weak now since my brain has become very weak no damage can be done to it so i'm not scared of causing any damage to my brain because i am an old man i'm going to die after some years so i'm not scared of anything so courageously confidently i can do this exercise so the son asks a question and the question gets answered by his father william look at the second stanza now your old said the youth as i mentioned before and you have grown uncommonly fat yet you turned back turned a back somersault in at the door pray what is the reason for this so the second question begins again with the statement that father mr william is an old man the first question also begins with the same statement so the son begins to ask the second question by telling him that he is very old your old father william as i mentioned before moreover your grown most uncommonly fat uncommonly extra ordinarily fat stout plump so number one you are very old second you are very very fat 
stout to look at. Yet, what do you do? You turn a back somersault. What is somersault? It's an acrobatic movement. Or it's a jump in which you turn your body over completely for 360 degree. Children find it easy to do it. I don't think old man can do this. But Father William is so strong that he's so courageous that fearlessly he takes a somersault. And that too he turns a bad somersault. So the son gets surprised to see this. So he's asking his father, dear father, your hair has turned white, you are very old, and you are very fat, very stout to look at. Then, how can you do this incredible exercise at your age? The first one is standing on the head. You stand on your head. Second one, you turn a back somersault. You jump backward, turning your body over completely, which I can't do it today. So how do you manage to do this? Now Father William gives a reply. What is his reply? He tells you, Oh my dear child, in my youth, said the sage, sage here, the wise old man, Father William. In my youth, said the sage, as he shook his grey locks, grey white locks hair, hair. So he has got white hair and the sons laughs at him for having white hair but he shaking his uh, grey hair he tells his son look I can do this exercise now. What is the exercise? Turning a somersault, back somersault. I can do this exercise now very easily, very confidently because when I was your age I kept my limbs supple, limbs, arms and legs. My arms and legs were kept supple, supple, flexible, agile. I could keep my arms and legs supple, flexible when I was your age, when I was a young boy like you. That's the reason why I can do any kind of exercise today fearlessly. He continues saying that I use this ointment. He shows him an ointment and tells him that when I was young like you, when I was your age, I could keep my body agile, number one, by doing some exercise. Second one, by applying this ointment, by using this ointment, what kind of ointment? Very cheap ointment. Okay, so at that time, one box of ointment, ointments, one box of ointments cost just, just one shilling. You know, shilling is an old British coin. That is one twentieth of a pound. That is no longer in use today. That was used years ago. You take it as 20 paise now. So one shilling, you can take it as 20 paise. By spending just 20 paise, I could buy a box of ointment. Using that ointment, I could keep my body flexible, agile. So that is a secret of my energy now. Then he asked him, allow me to sell you a couple. So he asked a young boy whether he can sell a couple of boxes of ointment to the young man. But you know that youngsters will never like it. Today, if a young boy, young man, gets leg pain or leg gets a backache, what does he do? He takes a painkiller. 
he will never apply or use any kind of oil but if you go to villages today you'll find even today old men and women using homemade oil so this ointment is like a homemade remedy which is not easily accepted by the youngsters but father tells him when i was your age without any difficulty i did my exercises regularly plus whenever i got any kind of ache or pain i made use of this ointment that is a secret of my energy